This is Mark Franklin of Streaming Media Magazine, and today we have another tech talk. Today we're going to be talking about the Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera 6K G2 for Generation 2. And I was one of the first people who got to try it out. We're going to just go through a few things on it. The 6K Pocket Cinema Camera G2 is the, actually the third Blackmagic camera I've looked at. And so far, of the three, it is the one I have liked the most. The original Blackmagic Cinema camera that I reviewed about eight years ago was basically a machined block of aluminum with a lens mount on it and a screen for viewing. It was not very ergonomic, and I did not like using it much. It required SSDs as the recording media and those were at the time still a little bit pricey. The next Blackmagic camera I used, I was very excited about, was the Blackmagic Ursa, which also took the EF lenses. It looked a lot more like a camera, but it weighed a ton. I ran around with it at NAB, and I think it was 2016 or 2017, and it, again, great pictures, but weighs a ton, and it, it takes so much to get it out that it doesn't come out of uh, the box too often. But I have to say, using the 6K G2, this is a much easier, much nicer camera to use. It is uh, very ergonomic. It's not the smallest thing in the world, but it's ergonomic nonetheless. It comes with an MPF 550 Sony type battery, and it comes with a neck strap and a battery charger. And that's about it. There are going to be some popular add-ons that you may or may not want for the camera. One that I highly recommend is the battery expander. Like uh, many DSLR cameras, if you want to go longer without changing batteries, you can put two more NPF 550 batteries into the optional battery adapter. You lock it in there and then it just bolts on to the bottom. Now it does make the camera a bit larger. If you're doing handheld work or it's not going to make a, a big difference. If you're on a uh, tripod, it'll actually be more helpful. Here it is with the additional battery compartment on. It's got a very good view screen, uh, but being outdoors in sunlight can be a bit of a hassle. So you're probably going to want to go with the optional viewfinder. And this simply goes on the top here. This piece comes off. Put it up like this. There's a little wheel in there. You turn that to screw it down. Okay, then you're pretty much all set. The only thing you need is a lens. Now, again, I've mentioned that this takes the popular Canon EF uh, full frame type lenses. That's what uh, Blackmagic recommends. It could technically take EFS lenses. Here is a Tamron EF lens that I picked up about a year ago. I got it to work with my Canon 6D. Line up the red dots. Pretty much ready for business. Uh, again, uh, depending on how you kit it out, if you put it onto a rig or something, you know, there's all sorts of other third-party products that will work with it. It's very simple to turn it on. On-off switches here. It's a switch, very easy has assignable function buttons up here. And you have the ISO, the display, white balance. And over here, the record button, pretty common. But here is a separate button for stills. It does take decent stills. I didn't like using it as a still camera just because, you know, you had no real feedback other than a little thing flashing on the screen telling you that you just took a picture. It's a touch screen. You can see the three batteries, two in the external and one in the internal compartment. And it'll run down number three first, then two, then one. 
um, that allows you to change the two external ones before the one uh, runs out. It's tough to change the internal one with the bottom uh, battery compartment on because you have to take it completely off. You have all sorts of menus here. Just touch to select your 6K, you know, 4K DCI, 3.7, 2.8. Under Blackmagic RAW, you could choose 3 to 1, 5 to 1, 8 to 1, and 12 to 1 compression. If you're looking to start out in cinema, the Blackmagic Design Pocket Cinema Camera G2 for about $2,000 is a pretty good deal. You're going to need to add your lens, you're going to need to add your audio stuff. It takes one CFast and one SD card. The fact that this is a 6K camera for $2,000 leaves you a lot more budget to add things to the camera. The link to the magazine article is in the information below. If you have any questions, please comment below. I look forward to hearing from you.